Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I'm Devin and I'm here with Emma. Hey. I'm here with CJ. Hello. I'm here with Alexander. Ahoy. And I'm here with Maxi. Hello. How is everyone feeling this week? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. That's great. I feel like a sense of normality that I'm I'm recording this podcast again. Oh, I feel like it's um it's it was the only consistent the thing that happened at the same time every week was this podcast. No it, way. Yeah, it's like an anchor for me as well. It's like an anchoring. I feel like no matter what so. happens. Wait, is this our last I'll... podcast for the year though? Yeah, because oh, it? it's Christmas next next week, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, no, it's not Christmas next week. We record week. on a Saturday, and the next week will be a 19th, the next Saturday. Oh, no, no, we've got one more. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> we got one more, unless people are away. All right, Is we've got one away? more. I am here. You are there. You are there, CJ. <laughs> so we'll finish our year on 102 episodes. And I, can't, I still can't believe we really start 100th. If anyone's not listened to it, go listen to our 100th. Can, can I just say something? I listen think... to this one first, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, listen to sure, 101 sure, first. Sure. I have been... I think I'm, I'm too sarcastic. I figured yeah, out are. this week you I'm need too to watch sarcastic. That. Yeah. I think I do <laughs> have Wait, to watch who? it. Because I was... What are getting? Someone was asking me a question and I was being truthful, but I was, I was answering sarcastically and i didn't even mean it so someone said do you want this report and i said yes i do a hundred percent and they were like wait wait do you want the report or not okay yeah i do and i was like hang on a sec i can't even switch it off i can't switch off my sarcasm i'm so sarcastic too, wait, too much of the time sarcasm if it's I don't know if it's if it's, it's honest. The, the tone it's is, the is tone that, that made it yeah. sarcastic yeah because tell them what sounds- happened it sounds douchey, not sarcastic. No, because but everyone I wasn't started, trying to be. Everyone started cracking up at him, so then, <laughs> yeah. So then it made it even Is that a, the more of a of thing. Sarcasm? What was that, Maxie? I'm gonna, like the definition of sarcasm is you just have to put a sarcastic tone on. I thought it had to be like. Yes, uh, you do. <laughs> not truthful. No, I think I think he's saying he sounds sarcastic I when s- he's not trying to. Yeah. 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 Like a sarcasm without a sarcastic tone just is. Truth. It's just lying. Oh, like, unless you're telling the truth. Yeah, you could tell no, the I truth. Feel like, and be I think that's classic British humour is sarcasm without the sarcasm tone. Just dry, but dry then, sense of humour. But that, I think, part of being British is understanding like there's still a tone to it, and you can still pick it up. Yeah, Do you, you can. Like, you you still recognise it, don't you? Yeah. But other yeah, foreigners yeah. don't don't quite get it. Well, that's so the they thing. Just think we're em- assholes. Emma <laughs> Emma goes. Emma reckons that I used to be English in a past life. Yeah. Because everything I watch, I, I love everything about the like the English comedy and stuff, right? And I'm like, she's mm. she 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 doesn't even like some of the English comedy I watch, and she's like, why are you watching that? I'm like, it's funny. It's so funny. But she doesn't. <laughs> it's so funny. No, he, you just. <laughs> but you, have a, Brown. you have a connection I just point to out like English that, no, uh, when, oh, go on. media. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, like I, Mrs. I wanted Brown's to boys. That's funny. Point out my boss in Norwegian is always sarcastic with me, but I don't really? know Norwegian well enough to really understand <laughs> when someone's being sarcastic and not. And also, sometimes, like, I assume he's being sarcastic, but I'm still processing what he said. And he's already, he's already like, it's just a joke, Max. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just processing your joke. <laughs> I will laugh in a few seconds. Just give me a second to understand what you're talking about. Imagine, like, so, he walks I, off and you I come back to him on the, on the morning tea break and you start laughing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like, bump his shoulder. Oh, that was a good one you did yesterday. Yeah. But I just want to say, like, I, I feel like when if foreigners don't understand British sarcasm, it's not necessarily, like, a lack of intelligence towards that type of humour or understanding of that humour. It's just... It's very difficult when you don't get the accents properly from yeah. the dialect yeah. to un- to hear the like the differences. Like they probably find that humor. They well, they could find that humor very amusing. It's just that humor only works when it's like very snappy. Yes, in the same except way. For, uh, I say except for Americans, they they really just don't get our humor. <laughs> yeah, and 
in those situations, then maybe. But I think Europe, a lot of Europeans have a similar sense of humour, but they're, um, it's just a language barrier more than yeah. A... Oh, hey CJ, you reckon our um, the Aussie humours like the Aussie humour gets the English humour? Why? Why? Why, why are you only including me? In this because you're you're like you it's watch a, a lot of comedy. This is a bit of. This is a bit racist. Like yeah, that. you're right. I'm I'm targeting Wait, you. Why is it racist? He's Aussie. <laughs> I, I, I feel I feel like I'm being singled out. You are. I I said your name. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't calling your name and looking at um Alex Alexander or Maxi. I'm looking straight at you. Why do I feel like I'm being like you know? I'm singled out, mate. <laughs> it's, 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 this is an inclusive podcast. You're right. You're right. You're right. In, yeah, inclusive. Yep. Inclusive. That's that, that, That's the correct word. Yeah. <laughs> and and we're exclusive. Oh. So about ten listeners. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so, as as Maxi is the resident multilinguist in the group mm. closest to, mm. isn't Dev one as well? No. no. And no, so no. am I. I speak. I speak multiple. Yeah. Languages. Yeah. CJ's more. Um, Bilingual. So, uh, <laughs> CJ's what, what, what language does he speak? Maltese. Siege. Maltese? Do you Isn't speak read chocolate? or write? I can read a bit of it. Oh. Do you speak it? Because I think yeah. speaking is more yes. important to my question. Yeah. So yes, for the yes, multilinguists in the group. Well, you can when speak it, speaking, but only read Stop little. excluding me from these conversations. <laughs> 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 with... with and like Max was talking about with the accents and stuff, like, oh, are you, first of all, Maxi, are you at a point where you actually can differentiate between Norwegian accents or is it just trying to process Norwegian still? And I have no idea what your capability of Maltese is, Siege, so feel free point. to answer how you want. <laughs> nah, I, I, I can see accents as well. Like, if I hear Maltese speaking, I can, I, from the accents, I can tell where they're from. Ooh. That's pretty cool. So... That is pretty cool. Because you've got some That's people good. who are from um, Gozo, which is the island of Malta. Say Gozo. Yeah, Say goodbye. Gozo in your accent. Gozo. No, like the Maltese. Can you, Gozo. Can you do accents in Maltese? Can you do different accents? No, I only can do like the accent from my city. Because okay. I've heard my family speaking it all their lives. Yeah. So I can, I can, I can, I can just copy that. Go, do it, do it, do it. Be like... Come can on, I... what are you doing today? <laughs> you need to do the shopping. I love here. when he does this. <laughs> <laughs> I, love... I, meant, I, meant, I meant in Maltese. In Maltese, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I might be able to do a Maltese accent in, in English, but it doesn't suggest I know how to speak Maltese. Strangely enough, I can't do the Maltese accent speaking Maltese. Uh. <laughs> Wait, so, so do you sound Australian Aussie? when you speak Maltese? Oh my God. Yes, oh my God. they can tell I am not from Malta. Oh, <laughs> All right, what's our first article? Let's it's go. Danger. Oh, so, wow. Okay, what our first article? All right. I want you guys to bring up um, the article that says inside the Indonesian uh, tribe. That one. I'm fairly sure you told us not to bring up the article. Well, you don't have to until I tell you now. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Am I doing it? Am I doing it now? So. There is a tribe in Indonesia called the Taraja tribe. They're in South Sulawesi area, I guess. And they have a fairly unusual, to us, fairly unusual ritual um, that they do in order to obtain good fortune. What they do is actually what, give me some examples of what people do around the world to obtain good fortune. Um, Money in the sock. Ooh. What Money was they the wearing? Sock. Was was they wearing them or? Yeah. No. I know. Uh, in the Filipino culture, they're like putting um coins in the corner of the windows. Oh, I like that. You, I can do that um, one. That's that's it. I'm checking up Filipinos' corners to take their coins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does does avoiding bad luck count as as good fortune? Like, so like uh, not stepping on cracks. Yeah, so superstitions. Well, I, I mean, that's that, a I think whole episode. Crack would be a good fortune. <laughs> Chucking money in a well is a, a common oh, one. Oh yeah, right? money in the well. Yep, that's a good one. 
Well, uh, this wish. particular tribe do something slightly different. Are they called Quist? Mm, <laughs> tribe called Quist? No. <laughs> so they dig up their relatives' graves every three oh, to four years. They didn't think you were going there. No. <laughs> Every three this to place, four this years. This place has gone to a dark place very quick. And <laughs> yeah. they do their hair and makeup and they make... Uh, well, not their makeup. They do their hair. They brush off their bodies. They dry them out. They make them look nice. They put them in new clothes um, and pose with them for photographs. Um, so, yeah, every three to four years, they open up their grave, like dig up their graves, open up the coffin they have paintbrushes and stuff, and they like brush off their bodies. Do we have some pictures for them to? Uh, yes, yeah, so see? you can open up the article now. There's ten pictures, and oh. the bodies which have been rotting, they need to be dried. So they get tied to a wooden stake, and they get dried in the sun. And this is the creepiest Beetlejuice thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I've seen, to be I've honest, before, but I don't, I don't even want to look at it. It's fascinating. But the reason that they I mean, dry they... them out is so that the bodies will remain in a good condition for longer. Um, yeah. But like they do still these. have hairs on their face. Yeah, they've got like hairs on their face. Still you can see their wrinkles, hair on their head. I haven't got hair on my head. This is creepy. So this was the, these pictures on this article which we'll post um, – was captured by a travel photographer, Indonesian travel photographer, um, Imran Rasadi, who's 30 years old. And he spent um, several days in their tribe witnessing this particular ritual. But they, this has been going on for generations, so nothing new. Um, and they believe it will bring them good fortune, um, good harvest, keep away evil spirits or, you know, mean spirits. Um and everyone does it. And it's, I'm not going to lie; it sounds creepy. I mean, it's it's fascinating that it's, it's yeah. so different to how I guess like they're seeing good fortunes in the dead, whereas a lot of cultures see like bad fortune in the dead. Yes. Yeah. Ba- bad bad fortune. Because like it, yeah. It's like even like they're saying it keeps like bad spirits away, but like a lot of people, if you're digging up the dead, it'd be like you're keeping unsettled spirits here. Like yeah. you should be letting them rest. And yeah, yeah, it's quite an interesting. Different take. Yeah, like, it's. I don't. I don't know why, but I, looking at these pictures, like it doesn't feel creepy. Looking at them, for it's some fascinating, reason. isn't it? It just looks like it, okay. Like it looks like they're dolls that they're. Did you watch Beetlejuice growing up? No, uh, yes. Mm. See, this is like this, especially the one where they're in like the, it looks like they're in a wedding, like bride and groom. This just reminds me of Beetlejuice, which is a creepy film. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. That one does. I don't that know. One like, does. it's, um, like, I feel like I get it. You feel I, like you get it? I feel like I, I, I get what they're feeling, but don't. I don't, like, I wouldn't want to do it, but I just feel like, I, I expected when you said it to be like, oh, like, just to feel so disconnected from it. But I just feel like I kind of get it. I'm kind of with you on that one. I mean, we are a pretty open-minded podcast, so. No, we're not. <laughs> well, <laughs> most, this, this, is, I, this shit's <laughs> creepy, all right? So some of the corpses that they open are, well, that they clean are tens or even hundreds of years old. Um, and yeah, they, they basically, what, just wouldn't that re- just be dust? Well, because they keep Not drying them out them. every three, three to four years. Yeah. It helps preserve their bodies like for ages. Um, they fix them up. They, uh, yeah, but they do this around harvest season, usually around July, August, September. Um, and people come from, you know, far to do this. It's really usual. Um, but it does say they have a different relationship with death. Like for example, if someone dies, for example, in for example, Western culture, you always every time I say that, you always do that, yeah, yeah. Um, right? <laughs> um, for example, when someone dies, for example. we Ooh, would, for example, we in do you know, Western do you know culture, what? we should do a shot whenever ta- Emma says, for example, <laughs> would take away the body 
like quite quickly, wouldn't we? Like you might leave it, it's usually going to be taken away the day it dies from the person's home, for example, and then it might be in a funeral home for a week or something before um, the ceremony. But in their culture, they actually live with their deceased loved ones and it could be for weeks or even months and they bring them food about like three, four times a day. They offer the, 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 the you know, the dead person food um, and they talk to them. So just general chit chat. I mean, their acceptance of death is probably different to ours, right? Yeah. And then once the funeral is held. Yeah, they're probably able to get over it a lot easier as well because they never. Oh, I don't think they get died. over it. I think yeah, they I think, embrace yeah, it. I think it's the opposite. Yeah, I think they're embracing, they're not getting over it. They're like, it's just part of, like, it's a whole, you know, the whole circle of life. Lion King, they're like, you know, this is the way it <laughs> is. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the, the we eat the words out there now, Dev? No, Just no. Like, <laughs> you know how Simba and um, the dad have that <laughs> conversation? If you start, if you, if you yes, start singing. It's a circle. I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm walking like out. they're in Africa and, you know, I love, I love sunsets. <laughs> I just like sunsets. <laughs> I think, like... <laughs> When I when I look at this, I'm, well, I'm trying to I'm trying to process it in terms of I get it like when when Max and Emma you're saying like you you kind of get like I get it in terms of different cultures have different traditions different we perceive things all different and everything but I think there's just beauty in the idea that you're alive for a period of time and then you're forgotten like I don't oh I don't I, I personally I wouldn't want to be I wouldn't want future generations to care about me like that like. Get on with your Why life. not? Like I'm, I'm yeah, so no, irrelevant. No, no. Yeah, but when it's <laughs> so ingrained, don't get, long, don't get along with your life. Come get me. It's so, <laughs> in, it's so ingrained that this that it says that this has been going on for thousands of years. So they don't know any different. Like from when no, they what, were kids. That's what I'm saying. Like I, 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 I get you, it. Like in that weird sense. things in your life, and you want people to forget it. <laughs> Nah, just like I just feel you like you creepy. You're creepy, dude. You know what? So creepy like crap have you got up to? You. I feel like no human is that important. Like Do you we're think, not um, that well, important. I am. You would live beings. life differently if you knew people would be like talking about you and your life long no. after you died. Do exactly oh, the same interesting. thing. Interesting. I like that question. Yeah, like Hamilton. Like you're right. Your legacy. No, you're um. To you're right. Like you're running out of time. What's that song? Yeah. Why do you write? You're running out of time. Well, you've watched that film too many times, Emma, because if Dev can sing it. <laughs> oh, I know like most of the lyrics. No, just not. Um, I've been listening on Spotify. That whole, man, it's such I, a good soundtrack. I, I listened to the whole soundtrack on the way. I'm like, I'm rocking it as well. I got the windows down and I started blazing. Anyways. Um, <laughs> I still haven't watched it yet. To the point where he was at the it's Macca's good. drive-thru and the guy went to hand in the food and he goes, Hamilton <laughs> <laughs> and then handed his food to him and Dev did the old oh. eyebrow raise yeah you know so, I thought you meant so, I, I thought you meant <laughs> Dev said that and it'd be like the McDonald's guy would be like what <laughs> <laughs> here's your food oh. we're gonna take a quick break so that Maxi can give us a message hello right if you have Instagram if you have Facebook if you have YouTube if you have Twitter or any other podcasting platform search for the b-side word on any of these platforms and you will find us and please engage like follow subscribe do all those things it'll really help us grow we really appreciate the love and we enjoy getting your feedback so go do that and i hope you enjoy the rest of the show so maxi and alexander have <laughs> two different takes so alexander you don't want to re be remembered for like you want to live your life and then just disappear and now uh, maxi do you do you want to live a do you want to leave a, a footprint for like for future generations do you want to leave something to be remembered by um uh, I, I don't maybe i i i don't know like uh, i don't it's not for me necessarily but i think if there's value to be taken from it then maybe but i i've more thought of it about if my loved ones died i, I wouldn't want to do this for my loved ones mm. but i can understand why they are. Could, why? why you would do it like because like, uh, and this is like a really bad comparison, but I'm going to use it anyway. Like when, <laughs> like when I miss somebody, I often listen to songs. Like if I miss my mum from back home, I used to listen to music with my mum. So I would listen to that song or the same with my dad. And then like, even though I know they're not with me, like I feel like they're with me for a while and it just comforts me. Mm. So I, that's the kind of feeling I'm nice. guessing they nice. get from but I don't... bringing up their thing. And obviously it's, cr it's creepy as hell, really. But like when no, I think about not. it, when I look at it, 
No, not the songs. They're <laughs> digging up dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's not creepy. Dude. I don't. So, so like on that on that front of it, like I don't. To me, the dead has nothing to do with them being alive. Like their dead corpse, their dead body is not relevant to their life in any way, shape, or form because it's the exact moment they stop being who they are and they stop having any choice about who they are or anything like that. Well, so it's it's that's relevant I mean in the sense like, that was their body when they was alive. That's relevant. Yeah, but I don't think your body's a, like like I think you're right to say it, like you don't have to have the body to remember them what they were like when they were alive. But to say it's not relevant, I think is a bit like because I don't know. I just feel like if if my kids never met my parents. <laughs> no, I don't. I feel like I'm defending <laughs> something which I don't agree with at all. <laughs> if my kids never remember my parents, I guess in today's age you show them pictures. That's cool. But back then, when they didn't have pictures, they go, "Oh look, let me just show you your grandparents." <laughs> and they pull them out of the ground, they dress them up, and they say, "This is them." And they're like, "Oh, cool!" And now they have a, a connection, which isn't just a story, or they don't have a CD. They didn't have CD players back then. Crazy. Yeah. Like, so maybe that was their way of their way of doing it. I want. Like, it would be interesting to, uh, for them to put the dates of when these people pass away to see how old these particular bodies are. Yeah, but um, I do like the their caskets. By the way, like the the red ones that are pat- I I think oh, they're yeah. beautiful. I'd much prefer that than like that Dracula type coffin. <laughs> Dracula type <laughs> coffin. Yeah. I, you know what's interesting? That one man. He's picking up the the elderly passed away man. He's so short. He's picking him up the as deceased. though, he, yeah, the deceased. He's picking him up like he's a doll, like he's that short. Maybe you. I mean, there is a picture of that same deceased man stood up with all of them, so you can get a good gauge of the height. Yeah. Yeah, he was short. Yeah. True. No, he was just vertically challenged. <laughs> but the one, the one below that, so like the where are we at one, two, the third picture in the article, the one who has like the goatee and they're putting the glasses on. Him. Yeah, like he almost looks still alive, just grey. Yeah, like you can almost see like wrinkles, like yeah, like that's what I mean with the wrinkles. wrinkles in his face. Yeah, like his skin's the skin's still on. Yeah, yeah. right. That's... Like all of them, the skin's still there. Yeah. Mm. It's just dried out. I, don't know. I just, I personally, I just disconnect life and death. Like I don't think. Does that mean like when you death. die, though, you have to make sure when you die, you um have a good expression on your face just before you go? Does it, does it stay that way? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. If the lips, if the lips you go, like a pout. then you're just gonna see big <laughs> teeth, aren't you? Anyway. Oh yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so this has been my face. <laughs> 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 to be fair, that looks like a lot of their faces as well. But they don't. I don't know how to speak about this without being disrespectful. Because, yeah, because like, like I'm talking about it the is, dead yeah. here. Yeah. They don't even wear gloves when they're cleaning the bodies. Like this lady's got a hand brush, a hand brush, paint brush. You know, just and someone's just like, yeah, it's just so it's such a different. I don't know. Yeah, they handle it in the same way they handle, uh, like they don't see it as a dirty thing, right? They see it as a, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's just, it's just like, part. The same way they handle an alive person, like they handle their kids. Yeah, like, it's just, yeah, they just been in the mud a bit. Like, what's the? So, so you know, like you're a um, you are like a sum of your environment in the ways of like, for example, cultural beliefs and things. So like, this is normal for them. Do you think there are people within this culture who sort of every time this happens every year, they're kind of like. This is creepy. Why are we doing this? But they just don't say anything. I think if they spent time yeah. outside of the of the village or the the island, they would. Mm. I think even in it, some people would find it creepy. Inside, inside the village. I think even if you're, yeah, I think there might be some people. Oh, I don't. Know, I'm guessing because I just feel like there's some cultures in the West which some people might like people that have like um, OCD and like hate germs and stuff that mm-hmm. happens in the West. But maybe that's because we're so like, uh, what's the word? Like we're not so clean, but like we're really like everything has to be wiped down. So and if, if the pandemic's if the pandemic's proven anything, we're definitely not clean people. <laughs> they have to tell mm, us how to wash yeah. your hands at the beginning of it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But but that was for some special people. But like, but I say in the West, like in 
most developed countries like we our yeah. poo disappears pretty quickly our garbage gets put yeah, in yeah yeah that anything which is that could cause disease One, disappears uh, very quickly it's true Mm, 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 I'm like mm, I know mm, I said I was creeped mm, out by and everything, mm, but I can't mm, stop looking at these pictures. Same, and <laughs> also I just noticed they dress up the 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 deceased people really beautifully, and then they just pose so cash, like they put the way oh, no. they pose so casual, ripped jeans, just like hey, <laughs> yeah, hey. Well, they got a selfie stick and a GoPro. One of them, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think that's a tourist. Oh yeah. That's, that's a weird. tourist? Yeah, it's a tourist. Like, so what did I, you see I, on your holidays? I sell dead people. Mm. I guess one of the like interesting parts about this as well is how like this is such a norm for them. It's not even a like private thing, if you get what I mean. Like they're obviously quite happy for people to come in and document oh, yeah. it and be a oh, part yeah, they, of it and they embrace their culture they're embracing their culture and uh, this is who we are yeah like it's not it's a, i guess creepy. it's not a ritual is what i was saying it's not like a because you know like uh what's his name pilkington when he traveled the world there were some things like he couldn't be a part of because it's yeah. like no this is our ritual yeah but this is just so open for them well by I, the way I, uh, the horn sounds as me giving a one minute warning Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, oh. I think this was a good article. I, yeah, it's an it's eye opener. I, I appreciate the uh, the introduction to this cultural. Uh, yeah. Cultural experience. Good, good, and good. And Maxi, we're staring at your banana. Um, and by the way, oh, they do. Wow. They Talk do. about sexual harassment. <laughs> this is a surprisingly thick banana. This one. <laughs> they... I don't know if you can tell. Oh God! Talk it up. <laughs> <laughs> They do, by the way, ask for permission from the dead if they can be exhumed. So just putting that. Who asked for permission dead from can the dead? Say yes. Can they answer? No, but they just do like a little. Do you mind if we do this? And I guess that's it's like. What, um... happens, what happens if you mind and and they think you don't, and you, and they just keep digging you up? You're like bastards. I guess I guess they wait for a sign. You know, it's the same way that my mum used to say, Maxi, can you pop to the shop quickly? Technically, that's a question. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. But it's we not all a know it's not. not. It's not a question. <laughs> if you have, like, renovations or works being done at your property, right? Um, or not even, it doesn't have to be renos. It could just be... Um, I don't know, someone, you know, fixing up a leaking you have shower. You've got tradies in your house. Could be someone doing down lights. You've got tradies in your house, right? Would you allow them to use your toilet or would you expect them to go elsewhere? I'll let them use the toilet. Okay. What if it was a brand new build and you hadn't moved in yet? Would you allow them to use the... the, the Toilet. Then they would have already used the toilet. Yeah, they would have used the toilet already. That, <laughs> like the the thing is, right? That I'm I'm tradies. If they're building the house and they've installed it, they're using it already. Yeah, because I remember doing. In fact, um, sometimes we've you sometimes we've used it without the water on. Yeah, we haven't realized. Well, the no, I, I've never yet. I've never done that. I've never done that. But like <laughs> when, when we were um, when we Talk were building for yourself. Well, well, what are you saying? For yourself. Uh, Mistakes are made. <laughs> Uh, look into the toilet before you poop. Um, when we were doing construction, when I was doing construction for three months, once the toilets were built, every trade because it was a, I think it was a six level build, and everyone had their toilet. Like you could, <laughs> the, ele the electricians had their toilet on level two. The they the plumbers had it on level like level six. You know, I mean, everyone had their like that's not your toilet. Yeah. Go to your level. You know what I mean? It was sort of like. <laughs> Your your shit stinks. Go to another level, whatever, right? But as soon as, because if you've ever tried to do your uh, do your deed in a portaloo, you, you'd understand why you want to go to a proper facility, because that, that portaloo yeah. is it's nasty. It's nasty. It is like the only thing that stops you from seeing what someone else has done is a flap. You know, it's it's horrible. And it some of them don't even have flaps anymore. What? Oh. It's just a hole. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna so say I've, every portal I've been in doesn't have a flap. 
What? What? Really? Like, if you ever go to like, um, like festivals. an outdoor festivals. event when they have portable, like, I was gonna say that, but I've never actually been to a festival. Um, when you go to Portaloos and stuff, like it's just it's got like the chemical, and you just see like the chemical with. Oh, see, it's already my, it's already shit's coming out of my throat. I don't like. Oh. Yeah, I, I mean, like it's, it. it's a disgusting. It, it's hot. I, like in my mind, why wouldn't you let them use your toilet? Like, how how much yeah. better of a person do you think you are <laughs> to be like no? So can't use my toilet. This lady left a note for the tradesmen that were obviously in her house, and she put it. She stuck it to the toilet area. So she said, "Dear tradesmen." The toilets in this house are not, in capital letters, rightfully yours to use. We are paying for an outdoor toilet for your use. Not only did you take the virginity of our toilets, <laughs> but you the virginity, but you disrespectfully ignored the seal sign, ripped the tape, and continued to use it. This is the second time I am cleaning your shit from this toilet. This is a criminal act. Please don't use it again, <laughs> Nadia. <laughs> Nadia. Nadia is a bit nutty. Is it, is it now, actually a criminal act? The toilet just falls in a bee bell. If it was, you know, just my house now and someone's in, of course, use my toilet. If it was a brand, brand, brand new build, you would kind of want that brand sparkling new toilet to be not used by them up front. But I wouldn't go leaving a note. I'd just be like, mm, they use a the toilet or whatever. Or I wouldn't mind if they left it clean. But if they didn't leave it clean, then then I'd mind. But I did know I do know someone who maybe slight OCD. I'm not sure, but she had tradies over, roofers, and someone not uh, like one of them rang on her doorbell, and he's like, "Can I use your toilet?" She's like, "Sorry, no." And he's like, oh, but please, like, I, I really, really, I need to use the toilet. And she's like, she just was so put on the spot. She's like, oh, like, okay, all right. And then he was in there for a while. And then, <laughs> and then um, he did the deed and left. And I did think he self report? She said, <laughs> he self reported. Sally, Sally, Sally. And she <laughs> spent the next two hours immediately went with gloves and spent two hours cleaning the toilet because she was like just gross because of like. her ocd level or because mm. it was she disgusting. actually i she's never said she has ocd i think she just generally she talks about her house and how clean it is and she and like she doesn't let anyone in there basically and yeah. Mo monica <laughs> monica yes <laughs> have, have you who's monica from friends Don't you know worry, how, like, Siege. If you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 Vince, the, the no, brunette. No, you know. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> Go on. you know, um, display homes. Mm. The old school display homes at in Australia, anyway. The plumbing weren't uh, the the toilets weren't plumbed in the display homes, but people didn't know this, yeah. so they were weeing when they were walking through the house that they might buy, right? <laughs> but they're not plumbed. So these <sighs> display homes started to concrete the toilets. So every time you open up the lid, you just see this concrete filled with concrete, so people wouldn't like poo or like wee in there because oh. none of them were plumbed. And I don't know what for. Like it's a display home. It's not for you <laughs> to do your shit in there. Like how if someone <laughs> walks into the house? I don't know. Anyways, I just thought I'd tell you. Pause the podcast. Okay, if you are listening on your phone, pick it up right now. Go onto your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, get us at the B-Side Word. And did you know that we actually record these with video as well? You can find us on YouTube, again, at the B-Side Word. And we would love it if you subscribe. A uh, I can't even speak. A subscribe. Uh, yeah, there we go. The if remix. you want, you can leave us some comments. We love to engage. And you know S what? Let me ask you this. If you do follow us on any of these already, what is it you would like to see from us? Leave us some comments. Let us know. Oh, what he said. Kind. What he said. S -s 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 subscribe. Really? Sub -sub -s I can't say the word for some reason. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> and pause the podcast. Is not a. Okay, no. What if you're the tradie? Because you're a tradie and you're a tradie. What if you're the tradie and you see this note? What are you doing? Uh, I'm pissing I'm on a house if she's. Not flushing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's, she's, she's stuffed herself. She's That's stuffed what I herself. was thinking. 
She, she's going to like be watering her garden one day and go, oh, the dog's left a poo in the middle of my garden. That's <laughs> Wait not a, a dog. I don't have a dog. <laughs> That's not a dog. <laughs> <laughs> we, we would have peed on the roof. We would have peed on the roof. Would yeah. you have ripped this sign off and just? What would that have done? What, what would you peed on the roof do to anything? I, I would have peed on the gutter. In the gutter. I could. I could just what, imagine. Would, the, would that affect them in any way? Nah, not really. Nah, <laughs> nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could just I'm imagine saying, like her, bit... her rocking up to the toilet, opening the lid, and there just being like a big steaming one on top of her note. <laughs> <laughs> on the note. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say something like they'll be concreted in, but, but you are, this <laughs> is the thing you the are asking one on top for. Of her um, <laughs> you're inviting havoc, really. Like, I, yeah. look, I, I can I can understand. I don't want to come and have to clean up after you, but I, like, how? Look, you can use the toilet. Just can you just clean it after? You? Like, I don't mind yeah, using yeah. it. Just keep it clean. Yeah, I, I, I would. I would. Yeah. I, how I would, would you react to a note going... which said that instead? If it said, do you mind, no, I, wouldn't I say don't mind no, using I'd my say toilet. No, I'd say as a person. <laughs> Have a conversation yeah. with them. I, I, okay, well, maybe she I started it as a person. I'll make sure it's clean when I finish. Yeah, I'd be uh, like, if if she said it to me, I'd, I'd be embarrassed. embarrassed. And I'd be like, yeah. yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. I'll clean, I'll clean <laughs> it. I'll clean it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I, I guess we don't know. The, do we know the full story of how it come to write a note? Did yeah, you try we to don't, speak to them first? Yeah, we don't know what happened Not sure. previous. Maybe you could bribe them like you do with kids and be like, if you clean up after yourself, there'll be more cookies <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> then there'll be more poop. Well, don't tradesmen like give, get given food? No. Meat pies? No. no. Sausage rolls? They're not, they're not Santa Claus. No. <laughs> <laughs> Depends <laughs> on where you are. I, Hang I, on I, a second. I, 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 I bet, yeah. I, I Every house they go to, they get another mince pie. Off, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what is that? I always feed my tradesmen. Like if they're there for the day, like I'll offer them food. That is uh, that is a tip. If you do ever get tradesmen over, to offer them like uh, drinks and 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 food. Yeah. but it has in, backfired. In the UK, yeah. Definitely yeah. offer a cup of tea. Yeah, it has backfired on me. Yeah, a cup of coffee. Because Why? how? Whoa, how's it backfired? Well, the last time I offered, I I, I cooked up some. Well, I didn't cook it. I guess I you put it, it in the oven. Um, some spinach and 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 um some uh, spinach and feta. Is it feta? No. Yeah. Spinach feta and cheese? feta um pastizis, and I you know heat them Ooh, up fancy. and. Yeah, and put them out and then also like other stuff, except... Um, they were out of date? No, no, no. One of them, which was their leader, was... Um, their leader? <laughs> <laughs> he was the leader of the gang. Dasha and Ditson and... <laughs> he was fasting. He was oh. fasting. So he couldn't oh. eat. And then I felt bad, but he said... He he didn't tell me, and then he told them, and they said he, they said he goes, "Yo, you can eat." But and so they ate in front of him, and then I felt bad that he didn't get to eat. I didn't what? really backfire. You, well, it was, it, yeah, there was no intention. Sound like it backfired to me. Yeah, yeah. Mate, I, I used to buy lunch in, in front of the guys who were fasting. It's their choice to fast. Yeah, but you're <laughs> but because you're, they're fasting doesn't mean I have to fast. But were you think um, licking your lips afterwards? <laughs> yeah, I was going. I was just, huh? The way you say eat, eating, there's two ways to eat in front of someone: eat and you just happen to be near them, or eating like. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> your choice. <laughs> that was the best burger I've ever had. <laughs> just like, just Mitchu, how's your fast going? <laughs> oh. And I used to, to smoke fair, back I, in those I, days, I, I didn't light up a cigarette and have a big bottle uh, of water. I'm like, oh, I needed that water. Oh, CJ. <laughs> oh, man. I think I did that when I was, a, my stepdad fasts. I think I might have mocked him for fasting. Or not mocked him, but mocked. like hate in front of him. <laughs> Actually mocked. <laughs> I don't think, mocked's probably the wrong word, but I think I recall nah. going, mmm, oh. you want some of this? <laughs> <laughs> How old were you? To be honest, I, 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 I never did that. Go, oh, do you want some of this? I'll get my food in the corner. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You'd go around. You'd like go out of sight, wouldn't you, really? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't do it like directly in front of him, but like he's fasting. All they had to do was the rest of them eat it while he stays outside. No big deal. 
He has to stay outside. <laughs> yeah, <you're> ex- <laughs> Wait, does, you, does, does he make the choice to stay outside? You're excluded. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna make the choice to stay outside, or he can watch them all eat. Like, uh, if you go through a canteen, a food area, then then I'm gonna eat because like, I'm here. This is the food. You come to a food area, don't think. Yeah. Gonna yeah, yeah. Everyone's gonna stop eating, but if it's like somewhere where it's just a conversational area, then maybe I'll try and eat. <laughs> but I think <laughs> from my my stepdad, he told me it's almost worse when people clearly eat in front of you but do it in a way which is like oh sorry in every like, bite this is what i'm imagining like so you're talking and then the other person like turns away to cough or something and you take your chance whilst their back's turned and you just clean, and then like <laughs> yeah <laughs> you shove it all in it's your like mouth you're holding a yawn or something and then you're, you're eating in front of them and trying to make it so you, you suck your food instead of eat, biting it to try and get it to dissolve in your mouth <laughs> and that's another episode of the b-side word Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh man, you. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually exhausted. I'm so buggy. Oh man, 11 I'm exhausted PM now. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Slurpees. <laughs> well, we'll be back at it next week for our last one before Christmas. Codename Slurpees. Oh. Hey, no oh, advertising other people's products. We didn't do our Earth, Wind, Fire, Heart, Storm. <laughs> Storm. <laughs> the last one. Water. Go. Earth. Wind. No, I'm not wind. I thought you were heart, Dev. I'm hard, yeah, so. What am I? I don't know. Earth. Why did you say earth? I, I thought I was, had to be earth. I thought yeah. that's what I was complaining oh. about. Fire. I thought you were like water. I think you were. Oh, water. I'm water because I was fluid, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Who's okay. earth? Okay. M has been every single sign. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go, Max. Yeah, because she's first. fluid. <laughs> <laughs> she. she She's Mrs. Captain Planet. <laughs> I've never seen this thing you're talking about anyway, so I'm going to just say Earth. Yeah, go. Earth. Fire. You want to say it? Wind. Yeah, you have to say it. Earth. Fire. Wind. It goes Earth, wind, fire. Go. Everywhere I'm earth. says it goes Earth, fire, wind. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You earth. Start, I've said it like three times. Earth. Now. Fire! Uh, <laughs> fire! <laughs> Come on! Water! Uh, go uh, planet! Is that what they say? <laughs> That's what they say. Um, oh. Alright, we'll see you next week. <laughs>